In today's video, we'll be working on stream.go, which is part of the handlers package. <coughs> and we'll start off by stating that it belongs to the package handlers. There will be some files to import. And there are a few main functions here, like a few important functions here, I mean. So just like in your room, you have a room function. Similarly, in your stream, you'll have a stream function. It gets access to fiber context and returns an error if things go wrong. And just like here, you have a room chat WebSocket. We'll also have uh, in, in the stream, we'll also have a stream WebSocket. So let's go to here. So we'll say func stream web socket, which takes in C, which is simply web socket dot connection. <coughs> then we have stream viewer web socket. Just like here we have, um, I think in the in the room one, <coughs> we have a viewer WebSocket. Similarly, we have in the stream, we have a stream viewer WebSocket. And then finally, uh, we had a viewer connection here. And finally, again, we'll have a viewer connection here. So say func viewer connection takes in C, which is web socket dot connection comma P which is our peers uh, by mistake I've created two brackets I don't know why so what you can do is we can start off with our stream function for for this video and in the next videos we'll take care of the other functions so the, for the stream We'll create SSUID look for params SUUID and then check if SUID is empty. Then what you want to do is return a 400 status. And we're going to create WebSocket just like we did in Room created WebSocket. So actually this whole everything is going to be same. So let's just copy and paste that actually in your stream. So again, checking for production and then if it's a production, we'll use the secure WebSocket. Then we'll start off with rooms lock dot lock. We'll use the blank OK. <coughs> lock dot unlock and just so, so so your reference file should be the room uh, dot go file right and uh, then we have to return our render so we'll we'll have something very similar here as well and after unlock you'll say return c dot render i'm not going to copy and paste the whole thing because many things are going to change here for example the stream has changed and Many other things will change, so that's why I'm not copying and pasting it. If you want to save time, you can do it, but make sure you get things correct. So here we'll have stream web socket address, comma. We have the chat web socket address, have the type, and here will say layouts slash main type there it was room here it's stream stream web socket address 
is fmt dot sprintf and we'll we'll basically create format those strings just like we did last time there is one more that i'm missing again which is the viewer web socket address this this one i missed when working with the uh, room.go file as well so here also we'll have fmd.sprintf so now let's create these strings okay the first one we'll say percentage s percentage s stream slash percentage s slash web socket comma ws comma c dot host name and comma s u u i d here we'll say percentage s Again, percentage s stream percentage s slash chat slash web socket comma ws comma c dot post name comma s e u i d so this part is same in both of them but this is because it's chat web socket address so we'll have chat web socket just like we did in the room uh, file and here it'll be instead of chat it'll be viewer web socket so the rest of the thing is going to be the same but we'll just have instead of chat we'll have viewer websocket only thing is we are missing a slash here now everything looks all right and instead of chat there is viewer and here you'll put a comma and the rest of the things are the same Okay, so all makes sense after this line you will unlock dot unlock and we will render out return c dot render stream comma fiber dot map no stream oops Set this to true. Leave set it true. And here you'll say layouts slash main. So this was your stream function. Now in the next video, we want to tackle um, multiple functions. We'll try to do uh, at least two of these, if not all three. So thanks a lot for watching. Do subscribe in, in case you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.